Hello all, in this particular tutorial, I'll talk about how to set up Oracle Instant Client on Windows. To do this, we will be downloading an Oracle Instant Client package from Oracle website. You do not need to sign in for this. You do not need an Oracle account. Optionally, we'll also download the SQL Plus package. This particular package is not mandatory for the Eastern client for the application. It allows the developer or the DBA to check the connectivity to Oracle database. So if the application for some reason is not able to connect, we can verify that whatever setup that we have done uh, is working fine using the SQL Plus. It's a very small utility. It's optional. And one thing that I forgot to mention that when we set up the instant client on Windows, it allows us to connect to the database hosted on other platforms such as uh, Oracle database can be hosted on Linux, it can be hosted on another Windows server or it can be hosted on Solaris, AX, it doesn't matter. It is not like if you set up the instant client on Windows, you can only connect to the Oracle database which is hosted on Windows. It is not like that. It is a, it's a common driver which will allow you to connect to Oracle database hosted on other platforms as well. Now, the, the once we have downloaded this particular package, extract the software on the target server. Once that is done, we are going to set the two environmental variables. So this is a new environmental variable. This we will point to the location of the Eastern client. Whenever we have extracted the Eastern client, we will point this particular environmental variable. This is a new variable and there will be an existing path. It's a Windows environmental variable. We will edit that to point to our Eastern client. So that's the second variable. The, the third one is once all of this is done, set up the TNS names .aura to add, add your TNS entry under the network admin. You will find this particular folder under the extract folder, extracted folder, add the entry TNS entry under the TNS names aura and you are ready to go. So the steps are pretty simple. Download, modify to environmental variable, test the connectivity. That's all it is. So let's get on to our test. So what I have done here is I'm going to show you that my machine, that the testing that I'm doing is on a Linux box. I'm going to connect to the Linux box, which is TB1. And this particular database is Aura 19. So I'll be connecting to Aura 19D hosted on Linux from Windows machine. So I got a Windows machine here. I'll show you the name of this particular machine. So if I open the command prompt and if I show you the host name, it says window Win22. So Win22 will be used to connect to the database DB1. So Windows machine will be connect tried right to connect to Linux database. That's what we are going to do in this particular tutorial. So the first thing that we need to do is open your favorite browser. So I'll be using the Firefox and download these two packages. So let's search for Oracle Eastern client. Look at this, download this particular package. It's a 80 MB package. The size can vary based on the version. And optionally here, it says optionally SQL plus package is less than one KB. Both of the packages are downloaded. Go to the location where the downloads is done. Wherever you want to extract them, extract it. So I'm going to put it under the D drive. So I'm going to put it under the D drive and extract both of this. It's, it, the, it's going to get extracted in the same uh, folder so both of these will ac get extracted under the same folder so whatever now that both of them extracted either delete them or either move it to any any other location or you want to delete you can delete them so that's done now that and you can keep this name or you can change it is your choice whatever you want to i'll rename this as oracle instant client to make it very clear what this particular package is so it's an oracle instant client version 21.7 so that's done click take the this particular path copy this particular path that's done go to the advanced system settings under here locate <laughs> locate environmental variables you can modify the user variables or you can modify the system variables if you modify the system variables every user who logs on this particular machine will see those variables so it's always better to set up the system variables click on new create a new variable called tns underscore admin save that particular give the location complete location of your instant client that's done go to the path 
edit that particular variable again put this particular entry click done done now under the eastern client you will find a folder called network under the network you'll find an admin under this create a file called tns names dot aura the extension of that should be the aura so if look at the extensions and there is a text remove this extension that's done edit this particular file using notepad and add an entry of your the tns entry of your database so what i'm saying here what i'm saying here is i want to connect to my aura 19d database hosted on this ip pointing to this particular port this is the ip of my linux box and i'm going to connect from my windows box to this particular database called aura 19d this can be any name this is just the identifier this should match to the service name of your oracle database so that's done save this particular file open the windows close this reopen the command prompt clear the screen and what we are going to do now is we are going to test the connectivity using the sql plus so i'm going to hit this so instead of testing using the sys let's because most of the application will not use the sys so let's do something let's create a user called fire with the password of water so that's done grant him the dba right because we should not grant him the dba right but it makes my life easier otherwise i have to give so many other privileges so that's done create a table so we have created one table called employee insert one record into that particular table that's done commit it verify that we have a we have a table called fire dot employee with one record in it that's done now we will go to our windows box and try to connect sql plus fire slash water so the fire is the user water is the password we can also do like this or our 19d if you do this it will prompt for the password if we do this we are saying that water is the password of the user fire and aura 19d and it gives us this particular war error this error is because there is a missing package it looks for it is looking for visual c plus plus redistributed package so let's download that so this is the package to avoid to to get rid of this error that we have seen to get rid of this error it needs another package so let's download that and always download it from the official website so i'm going to download the latest package once it is downloaded go to the download location visual c plus plus redistribution run as admin say yes and i agree install that's done now click ok you could have clicked ok before also and now we should not get that error that we got and if everything is fine let's before running this test let's see if we have any user called let's see we have if we have any user called fire connected so you can see there is no user called fire at, at connected to my oracle box and if everything that we have done till now is all good then fire should be able to connect to our database and you can see he is connected and let's see if he can see the employee table so select star from employee and he can see the first employee he can see the table and he can see the records in that particular so using the sql client on windows 2022 machine so i've disconnected i should have not disconnected so using the sql client so let, let me exit cls using the sql client on windows 2022 machine we have successfully connected to the database hosted on linux machine and i can prove it to you so let's go to the database let's run the same query we had no users now if i run this you can see sql plus dot exe coming from windows 2022 user called fire connected at 204 that's the few seconds before he has connected so we have made a connection from our windows machine using the eastern client and steps if i have to repeat the step 
it was simple downloaded these two particular packages set up the tns admin set up the path set up the tns names.aura tested the connectivity i hope you enjoyed this particular tutorial i hope after this particular watching this particular tutorial if there is ever a need to install the eastern client on your in your environment you can do that easily if you do like the videos that i'm uploading do hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial till then bye bye